Collier Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to talk real briefly about putting deadlines on a buyer uh, or a seller in a contract. And we're seeing a lot of folks ask us about how long do they have to respond or do, do can we put something in there that makes them respond in the next two hours? And the short and sweet answer is, of course you can. You can put anything in there. You could put in there that you want them to do 20 jumping jacks while they respond to you on the phone on YouTube. But, you, but they don't have to do it. And quite frankly, it becomes very onerous for, in most situations for a, really typically it's the seller to be told, you must respond in the next 24 to 48 hours or whatever it may be, or the next 10 hours or by, by 12 noon tomorrow or this is off. Now, there are situations, let me say, that, that you must, you're in town for a uh, few days and, and you're, you got a new job here and you're not coming back for another month, you gotta find a house. Understand, I agree that those are times where you really need an answer pretty quick. However, I think that oftentimes it's overused making, putting these artificial deadlines on a seller. And then sometimes it's a seller to the buyer in a multiple offer situation. Where I think, the reason I think we need to be, use it sparingly, I guess is the right word, is that it can also put undue pressure on a seller or a buyer, but really a seller, to make a decision now. What a, and a lot of times it turns that seller off, uh, especially when you don't need to. You had a, probably a pretty good offer, but they wonder what's up. I'm not going to be pressured. Folks don't like to feel pressured. Uh, a lot of folks like pressure. I'm okay with it, but say my wife may not be. So uh, it wants to make an even keel decision with, it, with being able to give it some thought and not feel like rushed. And oftentimes I found when you don't have these deadlines in it, a lot of times when that pressure's off, an answer actually is forthcoming from the buyer or the seller, whoever's being told to hurry, uh, actually quicker than it would be because now you got people not overthinking a issue because they got to make the decision right now so make sure when you're writing these contracts if you get a legitimate reason by all means say I need it by a reasonable time tomorrow or because remember you're dealing with for what most people is the biggest purchase of their life or one of their biggest purchases of their life and you're sitting there putting a gun to their head saying I need an answer now and it's not so easy because for a lot of people it affects not only their current finances but their future as well so give them that little bit of breathing room it's okay to apply some pressure but just think about it before you do it if you have any questions comments email me call your at megaagents.com or you can visit me on my website at megaagents.com have an awesome day bye bye